Well, as fans of the 60s TV show Star Trek know, to boldly go where no one has gone before was made so much easier with the use of warp speed transportation. Until now, most scientists have considered the notion of traveling as fast as the speed of light impossible. But now, some of those scientists are having second thoughts. Well, let's welcome National Geographic astronomy expert and the man known to many as the night sky guy, Andrew Fizikas. Andrew, it's great to see you. Hey, Brad, nice to be here. What's kept us till now from thinking we can someday travel at the speed of light? Well, you know, uh, we can thank Albert Einstein for that because he came up with that special theory of relativity that basically says there is a, 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 a speed limit in the universe, and that's basically you can't go as fast or faster than the speed of light. Basically what happens is that uh, you have to accelerate a spaceship or any other mass uh, uh, with uh, infinite amount of energy that you would need to do uh, to, uh, to, to give to that mass to put it to the speed of light. So that's basically an impossibility. So what's, but, uh, what, what, what's caused scientists now to think that someday we might be able to reach the speed of light? What's changed? What's cool is they think they've actually come up with a loophole, sort of a, a hypothetical workaround uh, the law without breaking this universal uh, physics law. And that is basically by not having the spaceship itself propelled up until the speed of light, but actually bending space-time before, behind, and in front of, of a spaceship, and basically creating a, a, what, they're, what scientists are calling a warp bubble around the spaceship. So what you can think of this contraption looking like, a lot like a, in that Hollywood movie that Jodie Foster was in called Contact. Yeah. You remember, it was sort of like a little small egg-shaped or football-shaped uh, little spaceship surrounded by these giant hula hoops moving around. Well, that's pretty much what this uh, NASA physicist has come up with in, in saying that if we contain a spaceship in a warp bubble, it can sort of ride this bent, warped uh, space-time like a surfer riding a wave. Hmm. And we can actually go much faster than the speed of light. So how close are we to getting this job done, Andrew? And <laughs> <laughs> when can we do some traveling here, my friend? My bags. <laughs> I wouldn't pack my, my, my bags just yet to go to the faraway stars, like uh, on the Enterprise. But the, the NASA physicist that presented this idea this week at a, at a major conference is actually creating a tabletop experiment back at Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Just a small, humble experiment where he wants to figure out if we can actually bend uh, or warp space-time by one part in 10 million. Now that sounds like a very little amount, but if he can do that, it proves the concept, and then we can actually uh, uh, create larger experiments. That's, it's what's really neat for space nerds here is that we've moved from science fiction to science possibility, actually theoretically right. possible to create a warp drive. <laughs> I've got my bags packed, Andrew. I'll give you a call. Let's go traveling, my friend. <laughs> Thank you very much. Warp speed, Brad. You got it. Andrew Fazekas, National Geographic astronomy expert. Always good to talk to you, Andrew. Bye-bye.